You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's to me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming at you with something special. So I recorded the uh, intro for the I recorded the intro for this game separately in case it has copyrighted music. I'm gonna upload that and see if I get hit with any copyright stuff. Uh, if it is, and I won't really be able to show it off because um, it really God, you have to you have to have the music with it to see how awesome how awesome it is. But yeah, anyway, guys, I am playing Niko Jishi. This has been on my list for quite a while, and I am very much looking forward to playing it. So guys, without further ado, let's jump right in and see what these kitties have to offer us. All right, here we go. I was super impressed with the opening, too. Holy crap, was that high-quality stuff. Okay. With heavy footsteps, I clamber up the staircase to my apartment, aching, out of breath, and downright exhausted. Just a little bit further... I take a step, another step, and even then another step. Eventually I run out of steps to take as I raise my head up out of an exhaustion-driven slump to see my apartment door before me. With a sigh of relief, I drop my backpack to the floor and search for my keys. Hmm. Where are they? I reach into my jeans to no avail. Probably still in my backpack, I guess. This side. How about this one? Yeah, there they are. My recently rustled up keys in hand. I go to open the door, or at least attempt to. Right now I can barely keep my eyes open. After a bit of fiddling, I open the door, to my surprise doing so without scraping the key all over the place. I've been so tired ever since we finished the show, I don't know what's gotten into me. I stand there and close my eyes for a moment. They're too heavy to open, so for now I don't. Maybe I'm just stressing over this for no good reason. Everyone else is probably still there, celebrating the awesome show we pulled off tonight, and had to leave them all behind. Of course I wanted to stay, but hell, I'm about to collapse as it is. Staying longer wouldn't have been good for anyone. After all is said and done, I'm, I just won't be able to hang out with the rest of the guys. I feel like I'm letting them down, but... Seeing the excitement on everyone's faces warmed my heart. Even, as I was re even, if, even if I was really only stage crew, it was special. If only I wasn't so tired, I could fall asleep any moment now. I'm thankful in both mind and body that my bed is merely a few steps ahead of me. Oh, hello there, mysterious shadowy figure. Huh? Who's there? Oh, it's just you. I blink, trying to focus my tired eyes awake. What the? Somehow in my room right now, there's some sort of tiger man sitting on my bed and, well, reading one of my books. That's not the bed. That's not your bed. Wait, maybe it is. <laughs> what? What's happening? Am I hallucinating? What the heck is this? I lose my grip around my backpack, letting it slip in the floor. Letting it slip and hit the floor below with a thud. You. You're... You, you're... Liao? Is there something wrong? Are you able to see me? He talks? He did call me Liao. So, so he does know... So does that mean he knows me? You... What are you? How rude of you to ask what I am. After all, I am a guardian tiger of your family. Hmm. You don't seem to recognize me, do you? He's a guardian tiger? 
Huh, well, we do have a guardian tiger in my family. Actually, I should say guardian tigers. After all, I was born into a family of Zhitong mediums serving goddess Meizu. Basically, my family runs their own temple. Despite that, I'd never expected to see a real guardian tiger, that's for sure. Like, I've seen a lot of tiger statues, but a living, speaking, and, well, muscular guardian tiger? How is this even possible? Aren't guardian tigers considered gods? Even if they exist, normal people can't see them. Can't just see them. Right? I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. I, I don't recognize you. True, you couldn't see me before. How is it that you're able to distinguish me so suddenly? Such feats were quite beyond your level of spirit power. I'm just as confused as you are. I have to figure this out. Well, you said that I couldn't see him before. Does that mean he's, he's been here this whole time? Now that I think about it, I did bring a small tiger statue with me from home. Could that be why he's here? Even if I was raised in a family of Zhitong mediums, it's not like I haven't had seen any spirits before. So, if this is a for real tiger guardian tiger, why exactly can I see him all of a sudden? Hmm. Liao, did you not have that aboriginal dance performance today? Did you recall anything strange? Uh, well, I don't know. The only thing I can think about is how tired I was after the show ended. It must have something to do with it, but I don't know, but I don't know what. Not that it matters, anyway. This is a good thing. You can hear me. I can talk to you. There's no need to, ca to care about it further. How could a guardian tiger be so careless? Uh, um, so you're a guardian tiger, right? Uh, the very one of the statue I brought here to Taipei? Correct. So, does that mean you've been staying in my room this whole time? Ever since I moved to Taipei for college, I've been living living alone in this small apartment. And I'm a student, so it's normal for me to not care about my room, not to mention what I do in it. Then, if this guy's been staying with me all this time, of course I've been here the whole time. I cannot travel far from my statue. That makes sense. I didn't put his statue on my bookshelf, after all. He has no other choice but to stick around here all the time. Uh, wait. You would have seen... that, right? What do you, what do you refer to? I mean, uh, so you watch everything I do at home? Oh, you mean that. Correct, of course I have seen such things. Not like this, please not like this! There's no need to feel embarrassed. After all, I have been watching you- I have been watching over you since you were a child. I've seen worse. So, does that mean everything I look at? Huh? Oh yes, you do have quite unusual tastes. However, I suppose you won't find that kind of boyfriend in reality. <laughs> yeah, of course I know I can't find those. Hold on! You even know I like guys? What did you expect? What did what did you expect? I've seen I've seen I've even seen every single file on your computer. Would you wish for me to list all of them? Nope, nope, not uh uh nope, that's perfectly fine, thank you. I'm just uh shocked. Regardless, it's quite wonderful to finally have someone who can channel spirits. It's been decades. I didn't expect to ever encounter one. Decades? Other people in my family have been able to see spirits as well? There was one in every generation of your family, however, we have lacked one for two generations now. We've been worried about the power being lost forever. I never believed it was actually possible to communicate with spirits. In the end, I guess all of our rituals are more than just for show. Okay, so what makes me different? Well, you have a de you've had a decent amount of spirit power since you were a child, just not enough to discern us. However, that changed today. The Guardian Tiger leans in close and sniffs at me. His muscled form towers in front of me, with that well-outlined body as well as his soft, stripy fur. My heart almost skips a beat. It appears as though someone caused a change in your spirit powers. But how? Liao, you don't suppose you have any ideas? N nope! The only, thing is me, the only thing is me being exhausted, but considering how much I was running around at the performance tonight, it's not like I shouldn't be tired anyway. And what's with this edgy-sounding spirit power thing? What kind of bootleg shonen anime is this? Oh, no ideas? Forget about it then. At least you're not hurt. As I said, this is a good thing. For a supposed guardian tiger of my family, isn't he way too nonchalant about what happened to me? So, you think there'll be any side effects to this? Doubtful, but I may need to observe you a while longer. But fear not, as long as I am here, you will be fine. How can you be so confident? Well, I am a god, after all. In the unlikely case I cannot handle it, we can simply seek help from the city god or even the holy mother herself back at our temple. There's nothing that those two couldn't handle. I guess that doesn't sound... I guess that does sound impressive. Although many people despise the possessing ritual involved in contacting them. Regardless, even if you don't seem to be a fan of us, at least one can still ask for their blessing of safety. As for myself, 
After watching over you all these years, I am more than happy to be able to chat with you. Well, it's good to hear that he's happy to speak to me, although he seems a bit concerned about me. I wonder why people would I wonder why people wouldn't want to be possessed. Could the tales of the Oracle's misfortune be true? Wait, what did you mean by saying I don't seem to be a fan? Uh, oh, spaghetti. -o. Huh? Who'd come around this time of night? I didn't even hear them buzz the front door. I hope this isn't my neighbor coming to complain. I haven't been that nosy, have I? That noisy, have I? Half awake, I looked for I looked toward the guardian tiger sitting on my bed. Wait a second, I've got to hide him. I can't just have someone walking in here and seeing a real living, breathing tiger man. Wait, wait, shouldn't I be the only person who can see him? I take a deep breath and look back at him. He doesn't seem to care what's behind the door or feel the need to hide himself. It seems I've worried over nothing. With that anxiety quelled, my worry turns towards whoever is outside my door. Well, hello there. Just your, uh, you know, normal, average, everyday furry. With no other choice, I walk over and open the door with a satisfying click. The door swings open to reveal something. Someone standing before me. A hooded figure? Uh, who are you? This can't be real. Where's that guardian tiger stalker and now some door-knocking leopard? Clearly, my, stat my state of exhaustion has made me delirious. Who could he be? I can't really think of any leopard gods or monsters, not to mention his strange outfit. Actually, hold on. That reminds me of some of our costumes. Moya drink, moya drink a dingai su. See ya, look cool. Uh, what? Hello, <laughs> Likalu. Um, hello. I guess I was on the right track. He must be an Aboriginal spirit. I go inside. What? It takes me a second more than it takes me a second more than it should to realize he wants to enter my room. It is impolite of me to leave him waiting at the doorway, but. Oh, that's what you meant. But first, could you tell me what you are? Clouded Leopard. Rukai. Okay, I think I'm starting to get where this is going. So, are you a god? A god of the Rukai? Spirit. Clouded Leopard Spirit. So, are you here to... Adridringa... Adridringani let me, let me bring many spirits to... He looks around for a moment, and then points to the leaflet on my bed. It's the schedule of today's performance. In other words, he brought spirits to watch our show? Our choreography was inspired by an ab aboriginal funeral ceremony, but it's hard to believe that there were actual aboriginal spirits watching us. The director would be over the moon if he knew. You can see. What? He points directly at me with black pointed claws. Huh, so that's how beastmen fingers are. Oh, huh, those little pink paw pads are kind of cute. I helped you see. Hmm? So does that mean he's the one who awakened these spirit powers? But what for? You help. Help? Hmm, so he awakened my, my powers because he wanted my help. It makes sense so far, but I have a bad feeling about this. So, about this help you want, do I have to go anywhere? Utai. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, info. Oh! Oh, that's, that's cool. Pronounce Vidai. Oh, Vidai in the Rukai language. Wutai is located in... Ruk... Vidai is located... Wutai. In Rukai, but I don't speak Rukai, so... Wutai is located in northeast of Pingtung, Taiwan. It is said that when the Rukai first came to this place, they saw many clouded leopards living in the area. The Rukai people honor honor clouded leopards greatly. For this reason, they settled, they settled there, forming the, the Wutai tribe. Meaning the hidden one in the Rukai language is an invisible, omnipresent spirit. The word is used in different ways. Sometimes it refers to a single spirit, sometimes spirits as a whole. It usually lives someplace within the wild and is also thought to have human emotions. The Rukai have many taboos, and if a taboo is violated, the soul of the violator will be taken by... yeah. The Nikajishi is said to be the lord of the sacred lands, king of the hundred pacers. However, it is just a version of this diverse folklore. I'm gonna read some more of this. 
Would be Sun K. Would be Sun K. The five misfortunes and the three drawbacks. There's a rumor that those who try to unveil the aura of the heaven secrets, oracles and fortune tellers alike, will be punished by the gods. Those that are punished are said to lose their relatives and friends. Five misfortunes while also lacking in wealth, health, and influence. Actually, I'll just do this at the end of the video. What? That's really, really far away. And putting that aside, Wu Tai came up in our research for the performance. If I remember right, it is where the Rukai people come from. Which means that he's what he's saying checks out, but that doesn't change the fact that Ping Tung is on the complete opposite of side of Taiwan. And I don't even know what he wants me for. Why should I even think about going along with some spirit that just came knocking on my door? Hm. Ah, oh, jeez, why does he have to give me that look? Although, he doesn't show much through that stern face of his. I think I let him down. I mean, he did go out of his way to awaken these powers, and after all that, I just refused him straight out. Hey, you, be sure to remember that you never even asked before giving him these powers. Now you've barged into his house, and the first thing you've done is demand him to leave with you. Even for the standards of Aborigines, don't you think that's rude? A Han spirit? Where's this spirit you speak of? I am a genuine god! I've been standing here this whole time. Surely you saw, yes? If you still want to take my boy away without as much as a greeting? I thought I'd seen the worst, but you Aborigine, you truly are appalling. Hey, that's racist. <laughs> I am not evil. Not evil, you say. So you say. But how do I know... How do I know... How do I know you are not just some demon in disguise? To me, you aboriginal deities are not so different from demons. This is my child, and I don't trust your words. You may leave. None of your business. It is my business, not yours. Why are you guys stepping on so much broken glass? The leopard and tiger lock eyes. The tiger cracks his knuckles. Looks like he's rearing up for a fight. Whoa, wait. How did things end up to end up with them trying to fight each other? Stop! Now! No fighting inside my room! Oh. The two men, well, cats, glare at each other whilst I stand between them. I figure there's no way they'll hurt me, right? If they're really going to fight, what else can I, what else can I do? But aren't they spirits? I don't even know if I can touch them. What... Oh, one second. Someone's one second, guys. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, okay. Alrighty. Yeah, I don't even know if I can touch them. What if they use some sort of spells or telekinetic powers to fight? If there's any point in getting between them at all. <laughs> this music. Ooh, I like this music. Ooh, a nice retro. Wait, who the hell is calling me right now of all times? Oh shit, that's his phone. The ringtone had cut through their standoff. Both turning around to look at me, watching closely to see what's going on. Trembling, I keep an eye on the two puffed-up cats as I reach for my phone. Do they even know how phones work? I pick up the phone. It's Shushi Senpai from Dance Club. H Hello, Senpai. Uh, what's up? Hey, Lao. Just calling to check up on you. You looked about ready to pass out before you left. We were kind of worried. You feeling better now? Well, I figured you'd be hungry, so I got some food for you. Let's eat dinner together. What? Right now? If Senpai does come over, what will I do about these big, two big cats? It's probably safe to assume he can't see them. In which case, I'll just have to pretend I can't see them. If Manga's taught me anything, this isn't going to end well. But it'd be rude to refuse him. By the sound of it, he's already brought dinner, bought dinner for us. On the other hand, why is he so concerned about me all of a sudden? I mean, sure, I've talked to him, but I wouldn't call us close. He really didn't need to buy dinner to check up on me. You on your own, senpai? Hmm? Yep. Um, how far off are you? Heh, <laughs> I'm actually downstairs. What? See ya, coming up now. Wait, S senpai He hung up. Okay, didn't expect him to already be here. What am I gonna do now? I glance at the two clueless big cats next to me. Should I ask them to hide? How should I tell them? But since Senpai won't be able to see them, it should be okay. Crap, I need to at least close the door before he comes up. Tugging Leopard by the shoulder, I push him into the room, shutting the door behind him. Guys, just hold on a second. My Senpai is coming over, so please keep it down and stay quiet, understood? The two big cats nod obediently. Okay, so what I need you to... Meow, I'm here. I brought you some Lume. Figured you'd like it, yeah? Oh, um, uh, just a second, senpai. I gulp and look back at the two big cats as I open the door. What? One order of dinner for Lao coming up, eh? Huh? Y you? Y you're Shushi, sen Shushi Senpai? What happened to Senpai? This can't be right. Senpai's definitely human. This guy in front of me has about the same height and the same short and small build as Senpai, but I know for sure Senpai isn't a cat. 
If someone at school was a beast man, there'd be mayhem over there'd be mayhem over it. Oh right. Lao, are you Senpai, you look how did you Lao what what's wrong? Why are you so confused? It can't be. Wait, you can see me now? What are you? Your aura is quite strange. Um uh so I'm not wrong. Senpai, you you're a cat? No, I'm a leopard cat. Even though the name ends with cat, I've, I've got nothing to do with love, lowly house cats. Aren't they basically the same? Leopard cats are just as big as house cats, after all. Oh, please, I'm a heaps bigger than some house cat. Putting me on the same level as a house cat is just humiliating. That's besides the point. Senpai, you clearly don't look, didn't look, don't, didn't look like that before. All right, let's uh, go. I'm gonna read a couple of the glossary entries, guys. Um, if you want to go ahead and leave the video, you can. This is gonna be me reading a few glossary entries. Let's see, Guardian Tiger. Wei is a god in Chinese folk religion who is generally worshipped in temples and of other Chinese deities. With the appearance of a tiger, Wei is hmm, usually believed to be the guardian of the other gods. Therefore, in Nikojishi, in, in Nikojishi, Wei is referred to as a guardian tiger. To many folks, guardian tigers not only protect gods themselves, but also protect the treasuries of gods. Therefore, some people consider Wei as symbols of wealth. It's also believed that guardian tigers can protect children and cure ill patients. It is said that they are also particularly good at treating tonsillitis. What? <laughs> Traditionally, people provide guardian tigers raw eggs and meats as offerings. In the modern world, rumors have it that guardian tigers love Kentucky Fried Chicken. However, not all guardian tigers prefer KFC to raw meat. It's advised that those who bring KFC as offerings should also bring raw meats along. Beigang Shaotian Temple and Sin Kang Mazu Temple, aka Sin Kang Fe Feng Shen Gong, are two famous temples that that worship Wei and organize related events. You can also find the Taipei Tiger Group run by Beigang Shao Tian Temple on Facebook. I think that's all for now. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching. This has been really interesting so far. That the opening. Oh my god, I hope you guys can see it. If you guys can, just go play this game. It's free. <laughs> this game is free. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!